Today we are looking at Double Dribble for the NES. Double Dribble was released by Konami in 1987 on the NES. In this basketball game, you have full 5-on-5 five -five court action. Ready to captain your team to the title, you bolt into the arena with, with electricity in your fingers and ice in your veins. Intensity builds. The game is yours to win or lose, but to win, you'll need speed in the lane, touch for three-pointers, muscle to power pass picks, and the skill to crash the glass. Remember, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it helps us the channel grow. And don't forget to hit the notification button for all future videos. So, how is Double Dribble today? Here is our review of Double Dribble for the NES. Since this is a sports game, it doesn't really matter that there isn't much of a story or a plot. In Double Dribble, a large basketball game is being played and a large number of people are attending. An 8-bit version of the American National Anthem is playing in the background as the crowd moves towards the stadium. And the classic Stars and Stripes and Konami blimp soar overhead. After that, you just need to choose which two teams will compete in the championship match before taking to the court and try to win the match. A winner's medal and a little statuette as a prize. The game's controls were pretty good. Due to the NES limited button selection, the designers did not attempt to overcomplicate things. Moving in the appropriate direction on a screen won't be difficult for you and playing and mastering this game won't take long once you understand the controls for passing, shooting, and stealing possession. To place your throw on a penalty shot, all you have to do is press a button to halt the guide that moves up and down above the hoop. The controls are flawless for this game. They are quick and responsive, very easy to use, and they don't try to overcomplicate things. Double Dribble is a typical expedition basketball game played one-on-one -on -one either against the computer or in versus mode against another player. There are four teams to choose from, each representing a different American city, but only three of them can be used in a single player mode. You can select from the following teams, Boston in versus mode only, Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York. The teams have somewhat different playing styles. Some may be better at long shots, while others may be stronger at defense. Despite the disappointingly small number of teams chosen, additionally, each one has distinct uniform coloring, which is always useful. There is very little time spent on a pre-game rituals or celebrations because the game moves quickly and naturally. When the first whistle sounds and you battle to get the ball first, possession alternates and you pass the ball back to a teammate so you can get back underway as soon as possible. The standard basketball rules are in effect, dunk earns 2 points and a long range basket earns 3. In addition, throw-ins in the events that the ball goes out of bounds, traveling, blocking, or back passing all results in penalty shots. If you are familiar with the basketball rules, playing this game won't be too difficult for you to learn. And even if you're not, you'll quickly pick up the skills needed to play. The gameplay is very enjoyable and easy to get used to, so it's still enjoyable to pick up and play for a short while now and then, whether it's against a computer or another player. Double Dribble has really strike visuals. The court is seen from a side perspective during the action, and the baskets are on the left and right ends. Everything is good in size, and you can see a good portion of the court at any given moment. The ball is always in the center of the screen thanks to the screen scrolling feature. Character models are alright. They are all fairly small and have the same appearance, with the only difference being the color of the uniforms to indicate which team they represent. Their movements, including running, dribbling the ball, shooting, and jumping, are extremely well animated. There aren't really any significant issues with the graphics other than the fact that they occasionally flash and vanish when too many of them are grouped together. The court and the crowd have good amount of details and are quite colorful. When you jump towards the basket and get close enough, one of my favorite visual effects is when you see a close up of a player making a slam dunk. The 
The game's soundtrack is okay. The action is accompanied by some generic, upbeat, and sporty music. Aside from the opening American National Anthem, when you're playing, you might even find yourself getting into the music a bit, because it's really not that bad. The sound effects are what really stands out. The halftime and ending music is okay, but not particularly noteworthy. It's all good, a rising and dipping sound when you make long range shots, a soft sound effect when a player dribbles the ball, the beep of the referee's whistle, and the cheers of the crowd when you score. The sound effects of the ball ripping the netting as it passes through the hoop or resounding clang when you smash it against the rim is used in the brief cutscenes that show you trying close range shots at the basket. Overall, this is a really fun basketball game that I still like to play occasionally for a short while from time to time. Beyond how brief and constrained its offerings are, Double Dribble is a really addictive game once you get the hang of it. It doesn't really do anything wrong. If you still enjoy playing sports games on older systems, you really can't expect too much from a game like Double Dribble these days. It used to be available on the Wii Virtual Console for about 500 points, but that service has now been shut down. And original cartridges copies are reasonably priced if you want to play it on the original Nintendo system. You should finish everything quickly, but afterwards you should enjoy returning for an occasional one-on-one -on -one game from time to time. Double Dribble for the NES is getting a 7 out of 10. What did you think about Double Dribble for the NES? Please leave comments below to share your thoughts. That will do it for this review. Remember to like and subscribe if you like this review and leave comments below to share your thoughts. Thank you for watching and I'll see you here on the next episode. Have a great day.